Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. And now I may ask, who are we presenting for baptism today? Well, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil and injustice and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord, in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. And now uh, I ask you, will you nurture this child in Christ's holy church, that you're by your teaching and example, he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his faith openly, and to lead a Christian life. And now uh, let me address the church do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include this child before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround this child with a community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his service to others. We will pray for him, that he may be a true disciple who walks in the way leads to life. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. And I ask you, do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Well, let us pray. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Declare his work to the nations, his glory among all the people. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and he who receives it, to wash away his sin and clothe him in righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in Christ's final victory. All praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. Nathan, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water in the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nathan, I want you to look out. Can you see all these people? Those are your brothers and sisters. And we share one Father, Father in Heaven. And so I want to welcome you, and I want the uh, 
church to welcome you as our newest member, as our newest brother and sister in the faith. And so members of the household of God, I command this child, Nathan, to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase his faith, confirm his hope, and perfect him in love. So now it is our joy to welcome you into the body of Christ. I got a secret for you. If there's anything you ever need that you know that you can ask any one of these people, and they're going to help you. Because you know why? They just said before God that you are their brother. And that they're going to take care of you. Does that sound good? And now you know if they ask you anything that you can help them too. Does that sound great? Can you get a high five? <laughs> Welcome, brother.